In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to turn a daytime scene into night very quickly by using a selection trick with the magic wand that not a lot of people know about. So I'm gonna to go to File and Open and I'm gonna find my folder again here, Chapter 5, Folder 5.4. And I've got a bunch of photos, so I'm just gonna start with the first one our daytime shot of this roller coaster. I wanna do an ad for Not Scary Farm, but obviously it doesn't look too scary when it's sitting there at daytime, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I wanna get rid of this flat blue sky and put in a nice stormy sky, make it look a little more ominous, okay? You can't get rid of a background if your layer is a background. So what I'm gonna do is double click the word background and I'll call that coaster. That's what's on the layer, so that's what I'm gonna name it. I'll hit D for default colors here. And then I'm gonna take my magic wand. Now, like I showed you earlier when I showed you how to colorize line art, your magic wand selects areas of flat color. So if I clicked right here, all it's gonna select is this section of the sky. You can see we have about 200 more selections to do, and there's no way I'm gonna do all those by hand. That's ridiculous. This photo is just way too complicated for that. But I have to get rid of the sky. So what I'm gonna do is hit Command D on my Mac, that's Control D on a PC to deselect. And when you have colors that are very similar in nature, and you wanna get all of them, you don't wanna to have to shift click 200 times. You take your magic wand and right across the top is a button called contiguous. If this is turned on, you would have to select every single blue space. If you turn that off and you click on one blue click, it will find all the blue for you. That is awesome. What a huge time saver. Okay, what you want to do though is turn this back on when you're done. Otherwise, you're going to forget and future homework files won't work because you will forgot you turned that on or turned it off. So make sure you turn it back on when you're done. That is very, very important. Now that this layer is not a background layer, I can hit delete on my Mac. That's backspace on your PC. Command D on my Mac will deselect. Control D will deselect on a PC. Now I go to File and Open, and I want one of these skies, whether I want this stormy sky, or this sky, or these clouds, or this really ominous sky, whichever one you want, okay? You go ahead and pick. I'll just start with number one, but I gave you four choices. I'm gonna open that. Just like I've shown you before, you can take your move tool, move it all the way up, watch your cursor to file number one and wait a second, pull your mouse back in, then let go. And I'm gonna drop that sky under the coaster because it has to go behind. Okay, we'll put it right up there, maybe zoom out a little bit so I have room. I put it right up in the upper right and hit Command T on a Mac. That would be Control T on a PC to transform the photo. And I'll just pull the corner down until all that ground has disappeared. See, the ground's like way down here now, so that's good. I filled the sky with ominous clouds. I hit Enter on a PC or Return on a Mac. And that looks pretty good but the roller coaster doesn't really stand out. How can I have a daytime roller coaster if the sky looks more like it's nighttime? Okay, I want it to kind of match. So if I click on the coaster layer and I hover right over the layer thumbnail, on a Mac, you hold your Command key and click. On a PC, you hold your Control key and click right on the layer thumbnail. You're gonna select that entire roller coaster now I make one more brand new layer by clicking the little plus, 
I can double click the name of any layer and I'll call that coaster fill. Hit enter or return to accept the name. And now to make the roller coaster kind of match the sky, I'm going to take my eyedropper and I'm going to eyedrop some of this color from the sky, some of this darker kind of bluish gray. On a Mac, I hit option key and the big delete key to fill that selection with the foreground color. On a PC, I would hit alt and the backspace key to fill the selection with the foreground color. Command D will deselect on a Mac. Control D will deselect on a PC. And all I've done is dropped a bunch of paint right on top of a roller coaster. So to make that paint soak into the roller coaster, you have blending modes. Multiply makes colors dark. They soak into the wood. Color burn, you preserve some bright highlights. Linear burn looks kind of brownish gray. Darker color looks really muted. All of these make brighter shades. These just saturate the colors, but multiply makes that look pretty dark and mysterious. Cool. I like that. Now I don't need this photo anymore. So I click on the name, click on the X. Don't have a bunch of tabs stuck up here. Now I'll go to file and open again. I've already used the roller coaster. I picked one of the skies. And now I'll take the Not Scary Farm logo. It's all just one big flat logo. So I'm gonna take my move tool, drag it all the way up, wait a second, drop it back in. And I want the word knots to go a little bit more across. So I'm gonna hit Command T on my Mac or Control T on a PC to transform. And I'll drag that corner up, make knots, kind of really fill out that space right there. Hit enter on a PC or return on a Mac to accept it. But I don't want the black rectangle. I just like the white letters. So instead of trying to delete all this black, which is very complicated, I take this logo and put it down where I want. And then I set the layers blending mode to screen, okay? Multiply makes white invisible. There's normal. But screen mode makes black invisible. So all the black is still there. We don't have to look at it. We screened it out. That's awesome. I love that trick. Now the Not Scary Farm logo's done. I don't need that. I go to File and Open one more time. And now let's take the original Ghost Rider logo. I already have it cut out on this layer. I can just drag it up. Wait a second. And drop it in. Command T on a Mac. That would be Control T on a PC. And I'll drag that out a little bit right there and I'll hit enter or return okay simple ways to change the whole aspect of a photo in just a few minutes if you don't like how light the roller coaster is you can take this coaster fill and hit command J on a Mac to make a copy jump to another layer, that would be Control J on a PC. So Coaster Fill, Command J on my Mac. Now I have Multiply on top of Multiply. If that almost becomes more of a silhouette, lower the opacity. Just so you can see just a few little wooden details in there like that. But we definitely darkened it up. Here's Without the copy and here's with the copy made a nice dark ominous feel for this roller coaster and that's the way you can do it but always remember when you use your magic wand if you want to make those big 
um, complicated selections like cutting out all the sky, you turn off contiguous, use your magic wand, and then turn it back on. That is the secret. Okay, I don't need file number four anymore. We've got all of our uh, ad together, at least the basics of an ad. And there you go, turning daytime into night rather quickly and easily here in Photoshop. So when you're done, as with everything, if you're turning this in for a class, file, save a copy as a JPEG on your desktop, last name, first name, uh, not add. I'll save it as a JPEG, high quality JPEG, and there we go. Not Scary Farm ad, done. Look forward to seeing what you come up with.